Okay, in this demonstration, I'm going to be demonstrating some of the properties of carbon dioxide, which is uh, the gas that, of course, we expel um, when we breathe. Um, and it's the gas that plants use in order to, um, to function. Um, where I'm gonna get my carbon dioxide uh, today is uh, from the store. So we've got a bag of carbon dioxide here uh, in the form of dry ice that we purchased this morning from uh, our local grocery store. So this is an experiment or a demonstration that, that you could do at home, but it's very important that you wear gloves um, when working with dry ice. So it's extremely cold. And so uh, if you were to hold on to it with your fingers, um, it can cause uh, a severe frostbite. So I'm wearing gloves because of that. So what I'm gonna do with my dry ice is I'm going to place it uh, here into this container. Um, <clears throat> and I'm gonna place some smaller pieces into uh, this container um, because uh, we want the dry ice actually to um, go from the solid phase into the gas phase. So dry ice will do something called sublime. That means that there's no um, liquid uh, intermediate um, when it evaporates um, or more uh, correctly sublimes. So right now what's, ha what's happening is I'm filling this container with gas phase carbon dioxide. Now, gas phase carbon dioxide um, is a very dense gas. Um, and so the consequence of that is that my container is filling from the bottom up, pushing the air that used to be inside of the container out. To help demonstrate that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a candle down into this container. Now, of course, in order to burn something, we have to have a couple of different things, right? We have to have a fuel source, which in this case, my candle is acting as the fuel source. And then we have to have oxygen to help su uh, support that burning. So I'm gonna place my uh, candle into um, this little holder so we can dip it down into our container of carbon dioxide. And we're gonna see when and where, sorry, where the level of carbon dioxide is because the candle will snuff out. So you can see really this container is already full of carbon dioxide because it's unable to support burning below about right there. Let me do it. Let me do it one more time. Okay, so you can see it's not the candle. It's really about the environment, the gas environment inside of my container. So I'm gonna dip it down in here again and it snuffs out, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna do another example here where we're going to take a candle and I've got a candle here in this, uh, in this beaker so we can see it. Now you can see the candle's burning right now because there's oxygen inside of that container, right? It's just air in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to dip into this container here of carbon dioxide. I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to fill this beaker with carbon dioxide. Now, of course you can't see it because carbon dioxide is a clear colorless gas, but we can see some evidence that the carbon dioxide is in fact in there when I pour it into the other beaker and of course the candle snuffed out. I'm going to give you another example of the pourability of uh, carbon dioxide. So we have to empty our uh, beaker out here. So we uh, refill it with air. I'm going to put my my candle back inside. We're gonna relight that candle. Now, of course, that candle won't burn unless there's air in there. So we can see that, yes, in fact, I've dumped that carbon dioxide out. I am going to pour some carbon dioxide down this trough into this beaker, okay? So again, I'm going to dip in here. Let me move my 
lighter out of the way. I'm gonna dip into uh, my container. I'm going to get some carbon dioxide out. Okay. And I'm going to place it above this container. So here we go, I'm pouring my carbon dioxide down that trough and it extinguished my candle, okay? So this is all due to the density of carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide is a very dense gas. Again, um, it uh, will fill a container from the bottom up, um, uh, moving the gas that used to be in that container out. Um, <clears throat> so I wanna demonstrate how dense that gas is. And um, we're gonna do that by uh, doing some bubbles. So I'm gonna try my best and get some bubbles over into that carbon dioxide container. Let's see if we can get some over there to settle into the container. There you go, you saw a bubble bounce on that surface just a moment ago. There we go. Now you can see those bubbles suspended on that carbon dioxide. So now it's suspended there because the density of the air that I was just breathing out into those bubbles is a little bit less than the density of the carbon dioxide that's in that container.